topic of my talk is running Tokyo applications in WebAssembly. First, I want to introduce why we need async. For blocking I.O., we have to wait for the I.O. operation to complete before we can perform subsequent computations. If our task is I.O. bound, we'll spend a lot of time just waiting, such as waiting for a response from the server. Asynchronous programming enables us to run multiple I.O. operations at the same time without wasting any time waiting, because we are using non-blocking I.O. instead. We can just start an I.O. operation and do something else. When the operation is done, we will be notified. In async Rust, the most important concept is future trait, which is basically a task. The main function is a big future, and during execution, more tasks will be created. In Rust, a future will only be executed if it is pulled. But here's the question, who will pull these futures? We need an async runtime. On async runtime takes the responsibility to pull futures. Take the Tokyo runtime as an example. Normally we use Tokyo main to wrap our main function like this. It's just a procedural macro which transforms the main function to the right one. We can do, uh, as you can see, we create a Tokyo runtime instance first and then block on the main future. In the main future, we can do what we want, such as reading a file or performing a network request. A common design pattern we use to implement an async runtime is a reactor pattern. In short, when performing the I.O. operation, we will register the I.O. source onto the reactor. When the I.O. operation finishes, the reactor will be notified and send this task to the executor. The executor will pull these tasks one by one. As you may know, WebAssembly is single-threaded for now. For simplicity, we can just use a queue to store incoming tasks. And every time, we pick the front task to execute until there's no more tasks. Note that during executions, tasks can append new tasks into the queue. This is our executor. Next, we need a reactor. What it provides us an interface called pull one off to interact with other non-blocking I.O. libraries like EPO. With help of this, we can just wait when there's no text, task to execute, and once the task is ready to execute, we'll be notified. We implement a naive runtime called What's My Edge Async. It's a good example showing how to implement an async runtime for WebAssembly, but not suitable for production. So we have to make Tokyo work in WebAssembly. As for Tokyo, we follow a similar pattern. We need to modify the executor and the reactor. First, let's deal with the reactor. Mayo, which is an abstract layer of non-blocking I.O. libraries. It supports many operating systems and we need to add WASI into it. We need to do two things. First, we need to add network functions for WASI. Currently, most of the network functions in standard libraries for WASI are empty, so we use a create called WASMAGE WASI socket, which implements common network functions in WASI. Next, we added the pull one off function following the interface defined by Mile. After that, we have WASI support for Mile. Uh, let's take a look at the executor Tokyo. Tokyo is a multi threaded runtime, and we can only use the single threaded mode of Tokyo. In addition, we replaced the network component in Tokyo with WASMAGE socket mentioned above. After all this works, we can run async applications in WebAssembly with the help of Tokyo. Next, I will show you two demos of using Tokyo in WebAssembly. One is the Mini Redis, which is an educational project by Tokyo, and the other is Hyper, which is a HTTP, li HTTP library in the Tokyo ecosystem. Since we don't have enough time to run the demos, I'll just attach a, a screenshot of running Hyper. We first compile the source code to WebAssembly, then use the WebSmash to execute it, and then we got the response from the website. In the end, I want to talk a little bit more about the future of async WebAssembly. One good thing is to have multi-threads in WebAssembly, which is proposed already. 
Once we have multi threads, the performance of async runtime will improve. On the other hand, we are also investigating possibilities of executing WebAssembly programs asynchronously. For example, we can pause the WebAssembly program when it's not ready and resume, and resume it later. Currently, what we do is basically compile the whole Tokyo into one WebAssembly program. And maybe later, we can compose more WebAssembly modules together, like macro services. That's all. Thank you for having me. And you can find me here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on Discord. Thank you all.